guys, it's Lee, and I'm back with the Dollar Tree haul for you. I made it back from Ireland safely. I got home Tuesday. I got up to go to Dollar Trees on Wednesday. Um, I really made it to do. I ended up having a migraine, a very, very mild one, um, but it does zap all your energy. So I only made it to two stores, but I found a lot of stuff in those two stores. I'm guessing... It's because I haven't been here for two weeks, so you've probably seen these items already, a lot of them, but they're new to me. I was trying to keep up with Dollar Tree hauls while I was gone, but yeah, I didn't do the best job of keeping up with everything. Yeah, let me, let me start showing you what I got. First, I picked up more of this Tampico Zero Sugar. My husband really likes this, and so does my son, so I get it. Let me not hide the little baby there. Still haven't come up with names or decided on names. The big guy, Sean, I'll come up with something eventually. Next, I found these Lucky Charms. These are Lucky Charms Limited Edition Dragon Marshmallows. Large size, so it's 14.9 ounces. And this is what the um, marshmallows look like. So I thought that was really cute. You can make, um, or I have made in the past, I have a video, or I have lots of videos on making like Rice Krispie Treats, but you can do the same thing with Lucky Charms, or really any cereal, um, and they turn out really fun and tasty, of course. I picked up two packs of these Ocean Spray Dried Craisins, or Dried Cranberries. My son had asked if we had any. I picked up two of these. I don't know if it's a good deal. They, there are 4.5 ounces in here, and I grabbed them because he just asked if we had any. He didn't actually ask me to get them, but I did. Then I got two of these Splenda coffee creamers, only 15 calories, and this is the sweet cream. Uh, I have been buying, these are eight fluid ounces. I have been buying these on Amazon, and they're in our subscribe and save. But my son recently started using it as well as my husband. So we're running out a little faster and I picked these up to hold them over till our Amazon subscribe and save gets here in a couple of days. I picked up a couple of these bubbly bursts for me. I really, really liked the pineapple tangerine. So I got two of these for myself. And um, for the person who commented that we don't drink water, believe me, I'm not upset by this. I just think it's kind of funny. I almost exclusively drink water, but every now and then, it's fun to have something with flavor. Anyway, <laughs> don't worry, I'm not offended. Um, that comment got deleted anyway, but I just wanted to let them know in case they're still watching. And then I saw Anna hauling some of these Progresso soups, or soup mixes. I only found, mind you, I went to two stores, Oh, I went to the store in Manchester. That's where I found this one. And the store in New Oxford when I was there didn't have any of them. I don't know if they're just sold out or, you know, I'm not sure exactly when these came out or when these started showing up in stores. But I picked up two of the creamy corn chowder soup mix. Just add water or milk. And I'm thinking, so where I live in Pennsylvania, I'm not from here, I'm from Virginia, but we've been here a long time. And a big thing around here is chicken corn soup, which sounds really good. So that made me think that I could add chicken to this and it would probably be really good. Does it say anything about adding meat? It doesn't, but oh, it says add your own twist, stir in chopped jalapenos and tomatoes after cooking the soup. Huh. Crumbled cooked bacon or green onions. So yeah, I'm thinking chicken would be good. Oh, chicken and bacon would be really good in that. Anyway, next, these were at the new Oxford store. Actually, they were by the door. I found these flavored charcoals. I picked up two of the three flavors. I took a picture of the third one. So this one, we do have a charcoal grill. So this one, um, it says flavor boosters with basil, sage, and thyme. This would be so good when you're cooking chicken. Easy to add to any charcoal grill. Yeah, so you start your grill, then you add the flavor boosters to the charcoal. Oops, 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 that bag has a hole in it. But anyway, I thought this would be really cool. Um, clean this up first. 
And then this one I'm really excited about. It's the garlic, onion, and paprika. The other one I think was more like, oh, I can't remember. Like chili flavors, like in chili, like cumin. I can't remember, but I do have a picture of it, so that will be up. This is what I forgot to tell you guys. See, I'm not, I'm not back yet. <laughs> I haven't done this for a while. So after I show you everything I picked up, I will then have pictures of items I saw but didn't necessarily want or need. So make sure you hang around for those. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the little bell, and that way you'll get notified every time I upload new videos. All right. Where can I put these? I'm going to move this. Put these here so you can still see the little lamb. No. Well, it's all right. You can't see Sean, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure that's it for food and drink. Next, I just picked up a couple more of these laundry detergent sheets. You get 10 loads worth in there. Um, I prefer to use Tide. Currently, I have the Tide pods. We just got a front loader. Anyway, my husband really liked these, so I picked up some more. And while I was gone, he said he was using these to do the laundry, and he liked them. Grabbed a couple more. We do have a few up there, but I did get a couple more. Probably should have gotten more. Anyway, I also picked up this small container of Tide. It says five loads. And this is for putting on stains. This and Dawn dish soap are great for stains. Dawn is really good if it's a grease stain. And then I just like to pour the Tide on, you know, any other stain. So I just got one of those. That will last quite a while. I picked up this two-piece set of bandanas. I got, they're just kind of bright colors because I put these on my luggage to make them easier to find on the luggage carousel. Next, I found this Crafter Square canvas pad with 10 sheets. Um, hold on one second. All right, my husband was just bringing the Greyhound back from his walk. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to open this up to actually see if it's Canvas. It says 100% natural cotton canvas. Let me um, cut the plastic and I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> I'm surrounded by animals because it's time for them, for one of them to be fed. But they all think they're getting fed even though they're not. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know if you just heard the cat meowing at me. So yeah, oh my goodness, this is actual canvas. That's cool. All right, well, that's a really good deal, I think, for $1.25. 10 sheets, they're eight, no, eight by 10 inches, and it is, in fact, canvas. Really cool. I got one pair of socks, um, and these are Elvis Presley TCB taking care of business socks. These are low cut, not my favorite, but they're US size 7 to 12. Oh, these are men's socks. Oh, well, I'll give them to my husband. Um, I don't know if he wants them. Well, the only thing that would show, honestly, is the, the black on the top. Anyway, I just thought they were interesting and I picked them up. My mother was obsessed with Elvis Presley back in the day. When I was a child, she just loved Elvis. Next, I picked up one pack of the Serve Extra Strong Compostable White Straws, and these are a 50 count. They're eight inches. Let me open them. And they're just regular straight straws. Very cool. I don't really like the bendy straws. So now I can't get this one back in there. There, I got it. <laughs> anyway, I picked up one pack of those. They also had, which I have pictures of, you know, I'm not fighting with it, compostable um, plate, like oval plates, bowls, and then small little cake plates. All right, so I think 
everything in this pile to my left is health and beauty. Um, I found these peppermint, peppermint infused moisturizing gloves. So I thought I would try them out. I have the driest skin, so um, it says these are hand washable and replace after 20 washes. They are polyester and peppermint oil. So could you put more peppermint oil in them? Probably not. But anyway, I got one pair to try. Then I got this bath glove by um, Spa April Bath and Shower. I just kind of like the way it looked. So I picked up one of those for me. All of this stuff is for me. <laughs> I got this Firefly Clean and Protect Rainbow High um, electric toothbrush or battery operated toothbrush for myself. It says age is 3 plus and I'm 3 plus. I just wanted to try it out. Um, I wanted to get a Spongebob but they didn't have those. They only had Rainbow High. So I thought I would try it out. A lot of people are saying they're like the Oral-B so let's see if it works. See if I like it. So next these are technically health and beauty items but I'm not going to be using them for that. These are makeup brush holders. I'm going to be using them as pen holders. But I picked up two. There was also lemon. So I got the cherries and then this kind of like purple. I don't know. It kind of looks like leaves maybe. So I got those two. This would have been nice um, for traveling. But I'm back and I don't have any travel plans. <laughs> so... Anyway, let me back you up some. These are by Sassy and Chic. It's a two-piece cosmetic case set. I'm gonna cut the plastic on this and we're gonna look at them. These did come in other colors, but I picked these because pink and purple. So this is just what they look like. They're just a little clamshell case. You could put all kinds of stuff in these. Oh, I probably should have gotten some more. I can make lots of uses for these if they have them next time I go. Um, there are some more stores I really want to hit, or, you know, I really want to go to. I just did not feel well, so it didn't happen. So hopefully I can get to them soon. I saw these little cosmetic brush sets and I thought it was really cute. I got this for myself as well. Um, it's an eight piece by Be Pure. I think this came in another color, but I like these little blue ones. I didn't see pink, or I probably would have gotten pink. I found these Modest Basics, or Modest Basics, pH balanced, no parabens, no phthalates, alcohol-free disposable washcloths. Things like this are just nice to have around, especially in the summer when it's hot and you're sweaty, and you can, you know, kind of wipe off a bit to get the sweat off of you. Yeah, I like these kinds of things. I really prefer the Yardley ones, but these are the ones I saw, so I got one of those. Does it say the scent? Um, not unless it's right in front of my face and I don't see it, but it's fine. And next I saw these razors. I saw K is for Karen haul these. If you don't know her, go check her out. These are just Assured razors, and it's a three-blade razor. And I like the print on it. It's so pretty. My daughter loves green. And I love pink. So I got us each one. She'll be home in a few months. I'm just going to put this in her room. Um, yeah, disposable razor, three blades. That's all it says. I got each of us one. I mostly just like the flowers. I thought it was pretty. Hopefully the razor works well. If you have used, used one of these, let me know down in the comments. I told you, I got so much stuff, I don't know where I'm gonna put all of it. So this next item I found would have been perfect for my trip, um, but I found it after I got back, and like I said, no trips planned for a while. This is a four-in-one travel-sized bottle. So I got one in pink for me, one in green for my daughter. I'm gonna open this up so we can check it out and see what it's like on the inside. All right, so I finally got all the tape. Well, I didn't get it off, but I, I cut it. So you take the top off, and inside you have four little 
bottles. This is so cool. And they have this little stand to put them in. These are so nice for travel. Oh my goodness. So like I said, I got one for me, one for my daughter. Um, yeah, now I feel like I need to plan another trip. <laughs> my husband and I will probably go somewhere this summer. Maybe after our daughter gets home. There's still more. I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff. I'm not going to leave this on the counter, but I did pick up a 96 ounce bottle of bleach whenever I see the big ones. Well, that's not true. I used to pick them up whenever I saw them, but then I had like five bottles of bleach. Um, so now I only pick them up occasionally. <laughs> so I got one of these. So next I found these air fresheners. I don't know if they work. This one is California Scents Scent Block um, in ice. Now here's the thing. I picked this up at the Manchester store and of course I cannot find that receipt. I have to keep looking, but I can't find the receipt. Anyway, in the New Oxford store, they had this and it was $3 and I, I really want to find the receipt to see if I paid $1.25 or $3. I thought it was $1.25. But I don't know. This was in the regular $1.25 car air freshener section. And then at the next store, I found it in the $3 section. So I don't know. Um, it says under seat air freshener. Let's open it up. Okay. Well, this is what it looks like. It smells okay, but this is going to be too strong for my car. Um, yeah, this can't go in my car and won't be able to breathe. But I can find some place to put it. Maybe my son will like it for his room. We'll see. Oh, that already is giving me a headache. And I already had a headache from my allergies. So anyway, this is a no-go for me, and I hope I did not pay $3 for it. I'm hoping that receipt's in the car. Um, anyway, next I found this Mentos Fresh Block Bubble Gum. They also had a different one of these, but I only picked up the bubble gum, and I'm not going to open this one right now. But this is also an under-the-seat air freshener. I was looking to see if they were by the same company. I'd never heard of that before. I don't think they are. This is by California Scents. And this is by Sterling Teal International. I don't know. This one does have a lot of scent in it though. If you're someone who doesn't have prop, it's, it's killing me though. It's, ugh. It doesn't smell bad. It just hurts my head. So next I picked up this water bottle. They had two of them and the first one I picked up I went and put back they had one that's just like this but smaller and then I saw this one in the summer aisle so that one was over with the water bottles and this one was in the summer aisle this is at New Oxford store the New Oxford store so yeah I got the bigger one instead and it is 32 ounces now do you remember in the haul before I went on my trip I bought a water bottle and I was like oh I won't care if I lose it or whatever I filled that bottle up in the airport Went to take a sip, and it leaked all over me. Luckily, it was just water, um, so I threw that away at the airport, and I bought one when I was in Ireland, a $3, 3 euro water bottle that was glass. I mean, I still have it. So hopefully, this one won't leak all over me. Maybe I'll fill it with water real quick and see. All right, I put some water in it. Top's on nice and tight. I did check that with the other one. Let's see what happens. probably should have put a towel down or something in case but no it looks like it's holding the water and I had only hand washed the other one I didn't put in the dishwasher or anything all right this one looks better maybe I just got a defective one um, this is a popsicle canteen with a strap and yes it's for me um, will I actually use it I don't know but that doesn't want to stay on but it's cute and it's pink and it will make a nice decoration if I don't use it. Um, 
I could put a little mixed drink in there. I don't really drink a lot of mixed drinks, but I could put a mixed drink in there. I would say wine, but I don't want to drink wine from a straw. I don't know that that's a good idea. And honestly, I don't really drink wine that often either. But it's really cute, and I wanted it. And they had all different colors. And the lady at the store told me, this was the new Oxford store, that they had just put them out. Um, so yeah, I thought it was really adorable, and I bought it for myself. I don't know where to put all this stuff. Next, I bought a ton, let's move this over here, of face masks. So most of these, well, a lot of these are from Real Veggie Farm. I think they're all double shot masks, whatever that means. Yeah, they are. What does that mean? I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. So this one is the Olive Mask, and it says highly nourishing essence mask with fresh superfood extracts. Do they all say that? They do. Moisturizing, nourishing, revitalizing, and soothing contains pumpkin extract. Um, yeah, and it is Korean beauty. So yeah, I got that. How long does it say to leave it on? 10 to 20 minutes. So I got the olive one. I got the beet mask. And I don't actually even know if beets are good for your skin. Anyway, I got the beet one. I got the camellia one. Camellia one. I don't know. I got calendula, which I know is supposed to be really good for your skin. I got blueberry. I did not get these all in the same store. These came from both stores, some at each. And then I got the coconut mask. Those are all the real veggie farm. And then by Yunyul, this is also Korean beauty. Um, this is a natural moisture pearl face mask. So natural moisture face pack, it says. Um, so it says pearl. Uh, this one stays on for 15 to 20 minutes. I got two of those, actually. And then I picked this one up, even though it kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. Um, but it is the snail mask. And I know that snail goo is supposedly good for your skin. Years ago, I got a Korea, a Korean beauty box to unbox. They sent it to me. And... Um, one of the masks had snail goo. I don't know what it's really called, but I'm calling it snail goo. Snail sheet mask pack drenches the skin oh, with snail secretion filtrate, with, which provides extra nutrients and moisture to the skin. Okay. This says pearl extract, so I don't know what they're extracting from a pearl. Anyway. I picked those up. <laughs> Maybe I'll start with the snail goo and get it over with. I bought one book. I did see quite a few and I took pictures um, of different cookbooks, but honestly, I have a lot of cookbooks and I don't really need a lot more. I don't need any more. But I thought this one was really cool. It's by Sweet Paul, uh, Paul Lowe. Eat and make charming recipes and kitchen crafts you will love. I don't know what the price is. It's covered up. Um, but this one looked really cool, so I got this one. It's just a quick flip through. Not the best, sorry. Um, yeah, so I got this one. I did take pictures of other ones I saw. There were a couple of tasty ones. Next, I picked up two of these little... They look like little candy jars with the wood lids. The lids do not stay on very well. They have a, um, well, that's plastic, I think. Plastic, yeah, it's a plastic piece, but they don't really stay on. Um, but I did get two of these. I thought they would be nice to put things in on my desk. You can sit them sideways or like this. So I got two of those. I picked up one each of these candles. Um, these are LED spring pillar candles, and this one has butterflies. These are also for upstairs, my office. 
Anyway, I picked up the butterflies, and then this one has flowers and dragonflies. Make sure when you pick up stuff like this, it still has the little tab in it, the little plastic tab. So I took the label off so you could see the whole thing. Look at the butterflies, so pretty. Let's take this out. Turn it on. It flickers, that is so cool. These are with the Mother's Day items. And here's the other one. So pretty. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot to take the plastic out. All right. Now, <laughs> that's so pretty. And candles like this are safe when you have crazy cats in your house. So I picked up just one each of these. And then lastly, I know this is a long video for me. I picked up these little trinket boxes. They're just called decor. These were also in the Mother's Day section at the um, at the Manchester store. I love blue and white. I always say I love pink, which I do, but blue and white is like, I think I would pick blue and white over pink. Not for my office, mind you, but for the rest of my house, you can't see, but my curtains are blue and off-white twall in the kitchen here. So I love blue and white, and I thought this was so pretty, this little trinket box. And then I had to get the other one as well. And they're nice big size too, so. I like these, you can store stuff in them, and these will be sitting right out in the open. Oh, maybe we could put them over here and I could put my phone charger in it. Anyway, I thought they were super pretty. All right, so that's everything I picked up at just two Dollar Trees, one in Manchester, Pennsylvania, and one in New Oxford, Pennsylvania. And now I have those pictures of items I saw but didn't necessarily want or need, but thought you might like to see. So check those out and meet me right back here.
Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those pictures and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.